Hello, and I am the Common Sense Fan, Tommy Spud. Now, I'd like to give, before I do this rant, I'd like to give a shout out to a couple specific people. The WWE Killer, Icon Matthew One, and a couple others which, you know, I don't really want to get into big detail of this because if I do, it'll take away from this rant because I want to spend as much time on it as possible. But you'll see them in the little box. And I would suggest you subscribe to them. If you haven't already, you probably have because they all have more subscribers than me. And that just sucks. Now, I want to talk to you today about the upcoming WWE pay-per-view event, Extreme Rules. Now, see, here's the problem with this. It's not really extreme. I will state that right now. It is not an extreme pay-per-view. I mean, sure, you have matches like Randy Orton versus Batista in a steel cage, which, you know, steel cage could qualify as an extreme match. Uh, Ray Mysterio versus Chris Jericho, no holds barred, could qualify as an extreme match. Edge versus Jeff Hardy ladder match could technically qualify as an extreme match. I mean, what would, would be an extreme match? Vicky Guerrero versus Santina Morella in a hog pen match. Here's the first part of the problem. First off, Vicky Guerrero and Santina Morella should be nowhere near a fucking extreme pay per view. They shouldn't even be on the goddamn pay per view at all. They should be. This should be saved for a Raw or SmackDown or something. Because honestly, this is an extreme pay per view. You don't need this on an extreme pay per view. Especially when you're booking it as an extreme pay-per-view, something different. This is retarded, stupid as fuck, and no, and, and god damn it, and he used the Santina storyline, which I really, I, I don't, I don't have a problem much with the Santina storyline, except for the fact that, you know, it wastes time a lot, where better things should be on. But Vicky Guerrero in the ring, that is, are you asking for it to be shit? Are you? It's going to be a complete dud. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, then you have John Cena versus Big Show in a submission match. Now, submission matches, I will give you the fact that they they, they were hardcore in the WWF era, especially um, Owen Hart versus Austin, I believe, the match. I can't remember the pay-per-view. But that was a submission match, and that was pretty hardcore. But in this day and age, in this day and age... Submission matches aren't hardcore. They aren't. And Cena and Big Show can't fucking deliver an extreme match with submissions. In fact, Cena and Big Show don't really have that many submissions to begin with, so why make it a submission match? Hmm, let's see. Big Show has a stupid camel clutch, but that he's been using for about the whole time, but he hasn't exactly pulled it out that often. While Cena has STF, I mean the, yeah, STF, which he's been using consistently for the past so many years, past couple years, and he, it's his finisher. I wonder who will win, WWE! John Cena's gonna win. Oh, yay! Unless they go the unprofessional route, have Big Show just kill Cena, which, you know, I wouldn't be against either. But, it just looks like Cena's obviously gonna win because if. And here's what the problem is if you're gonna have Cena win here, why have him win the last pay per view? Why not just have Big Show knock the fuck out of Cena? And Cena has more to prove. It confuses me how stupid the bookers seem at these times. Anyway, the submission match should not even be on the pay-per-view. And CM Punk versus Umaga in a Samoan strap match. Now, this match is... It, I'll give you the fact that it is kind of extreme, but it's not exactly what an extreme pay-per-view would be looking for. I'll, I mean, this, this would be a good opener. It would be. But the fact is... There could be so much more than this. 
you, I mean, I, I know only six matches have been announced, but for the love of God, why in the hell are you putting non matches that probably won't be extreme on extreme rules pay per view, especially when you're booking as extreme rules? If you're going to do that, rename the fucking pay per view. And first off, what makes you think for a second that keeping the thing called Extreme Rules on a PG fucking show is going to help the fucking ratings? Are you going to go and say that, well, for this one event, we won't be PG? Because for the love of God, having a PG Extreme Rules is fucking bullshit. And you guys all know that. There is no way in hell, you know, first off, every match on an Extreme Rules pay-per-view should be no DQ standard. Standard. There is no way in hell, you mean, I mean, everything should be either, I mean, no holds barred, no holds barred, no, everything should be no DQ. That's fucking stupid. It's like, WWE... It's half fasting extreme, which they usually do. It's not even this whole fucking PG show. Oh, the fans aren't supposed to see blood because it will traumatize them. People bleed. Everybody knows that you're making everybody seem to be invincible and less human and shit, and that's not really good. The fans need to connect with them. It is good to have people get busted open. Sometimes. These are the reasons why I will not be watching Extreme Rules. First of all, I don't have enough faith in the card. Cena vs. Show, I've seen that. Edge vs. Jeff Hardy, I've seen that. Even though the latter match will be pretty good. Orton vs. Batista, I've seen that. Why should I watch this? Am I going to put trust in Batista to deal a good steel cage match for Orton? No. Am I going to put enough trust in Rey Mysterio and Chris Jericho to have a good no-holds-barred match to watch the pay-per-view? Am I going to put enough faith in two fucking, two, maybe three matches on this card to be good for me to watch? Fuck no. I am not going to watch Edge vs. Jeff Hardy and Mysterio vs. Jericho and maybe Punk vs. Umaga if I have to put up with the shit that goes in between. If I'm gonna put the put up with Guerrero versus Santita, fucking Cena versus Show, I am not gonna watch a fucking pay per view. What they need to know is that shit matches plus good matches equals meh matches. They should know that by now. And yet, they don't. They don't increase the all around ability of their pay per views, and this is why I do not watch. At least not paying for it. And as I've said before, this whole PG thing is shit. Especially if you're going to keep them extreme rules, pay-per-view on your damn schedule, which you won't even allow people to bleed on. For the God's sake, let them bleed. Fucking change the rating to PG-13. At least then, maybe, we'll see some goddamn entertainment. And you know what? I would rather pay right now to see Triple H. This is this is stupid as hell. I'd rather see Randy Orton versus Triple H a steel cage match that would see Orton versus Batista. I'd rather see Orton versus Triple H, Orton versus HBK, Orton versus pretty much anybody. Matt Hardy, man, besides Batista right now. I don't like Batista. And that is what my next rant will cover. Batista. Which I'm going to be happy to do that because it'd be awesome. This match doesn't, these pay per view doesn't even qualify as extreme. For all I care, it should be called not so extreme rules because this pay per view half fast is extreme, makes a mockery of extreme, and when you're a PG, when you're a PG thing, 
n keeping a pay review name Extreme Rules is complete. It's a complete hypocrisy to what you are. You're a PG company. You can't deliver Extreme because you are a PG company. And that is it from the Common Sense Fan Tommy Spud. I am done with my rant, and I will see you later when I rant on Batista. Good night.